We are now three levels up with the struts. That's up there pretty good. Before we can go up any farther and do the fourth level, there are a couple of things that we need to do first. And that's what we're gonna focus on next. Today, we anchor down our dome. Those are the tools. Let's get started. Okay. Yesterday, you already drilled all the holes, so that's great. And we cleaned them out and brushed them. So today we'll just give them a final quick blow. Make sure they're nice and clean. They're super clean. Super clean. And then I think they're ready for the epoxy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why did I not expect that to be coming? You're so this is... Simpsons Set XP product, which is meant for very strong concrete. Here, what it does is these two tubes have two different materials, which, when compressed together, form an unbreakable bond of glue. In a normal voice, so that means that you will just fill that hole up about halfway. It said half to two thirds. And then you will push the rod into the hole and that will really make it form a strong bond. Yes. And that is the Simpson tie. No, Simpson strong tie. Oh. <laughs> These tie downs are going one in each corner of the dome risers, but we are also putting a regular anchor bolt yes. in the middle of the risers as well. I like easy steps. I also like the steps that you do all the work. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Seems to be there's a frequent number of those. <laughs> yeah, probably the vast majority. <laughs> I'm the assistant in this task. You're doing a fine job. Thank you. What number am I on? Seven. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <sighs> you overgooped it. Twice now. Thirteen's too much. Now. All the bolts are epoxied down. So now we just have to wait 72 hours for it to fully cure. While we're waiting for the paint to dry or the epoxy to cure, we do have a couple more steps and one of them is to put up some temporary bracing around on each side of the extension opening. This was recommended by the NSD folks just to give a little bit more strength to these openings for when we remove the temporary riser walls. We trimmed this one down to size and now that that one looks pretty good, we'll just make six of them. Yep. Rinse and repeat. I was just waiting for you to say that. I brought over these scrap pieces of two by four. I bet you you can get two out of each of these. I think you get three. No, I don't think you're gonna get three. Two. That's George. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get George. These are 16 feet. Oh shoot. Yep. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, 16 divided by 3 is 5.33. I need 4, point, uh, four, foot, nine, four foot 9 inches. Stress. Sorry, George. I got the dollar. I got the dollar. You don't got the dollar. Because I got the dollar. I'll get him back. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Last one. I just like watching your technique. Very professional. Job's done. It's now been 72 hours and we have let the epoxy cure. Hopefully it has cured completely and properly. <laughs> so it's now time to finally lock down the bolts, finish the anchoring. Yes. 
This is a Simpson Strong Tie tie down. This is what's going to protect our dome in a hurricane, right? That is correct. <laughs> or maybe a, I don't know, tornado? Well, yeah, hurricanes might be hard to come by. Yeah. Country, but you never know. <laughs> Very strong straight line winds, perhaps? Hurricane force winds? There we go. Yeah. So while you're doing right now is locking it down on the vertical posts. Yep. And then it goes right above the anchor bolt that you already glued in a few days ago. Yep. Nice. Not a whole lot of room to work in here, but it's doable. Once these are all in, does it does it give a rating a wind rating for how much this helps? It does, but I don't remember. Is it like 200 or 250 or? Uh, it's a lot. It was a lot. Hopefully more than we'll ever experience. Agreed. So between that and our dome design, I gotta say we're probably as well protected here as we could be. Done everything we can anyway. Yep. And the rest, whatever happens, happens, right? Yep. Carry on. Okay. Anchors away. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> that would be backwards. Yeah. Switch that. Drop anchor. Secure anchor. No. All right, I'm done with the nautical theme. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly we're not boat people. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Simpson tie downs are now tied down. The bolts are in. And that means our dome hopefully won't blow away. I would appreciate that. Yeah. That'll do it for this one. Stay tuned while we figure out how to put up the fourth and final course of struts way up top. Got anything to add? Oh boy, I hope that scaffolding has magically become sturdy. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Our dome is currently floating on our concrete. <laughs> yep, all we'll have to do is just shoot the goo. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Harbor freight, people. <laughs> oh, God. You're the cheapskate who bought it. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted because there was a daddy long leg on the riser wall right above your head. So I went to video that instead. <laughs> I think I've had that one since 1990. Yeah, hasn't been sharpened since 1990 as well. <laughs> that's probably true. In fact, that's most definitely true. This hammer drill does a really good job. Harbor Freight! See? <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing.